I thought I'd make a video about Grim, or more specifically, um, maintain Jack's coat. Jack is what is called a double coated breed, and he does need regular brushing. I generally tend to brush him every day, and it really does make his coat look better if, if you keep brushing him every day. It does help minimize the amount of fluff that you get throughout the house and just in this country anyway we have a lot of plants and grasses that have very sticky seeds so if I don't brush him at least every few days he gets a lot of sticky seeds sticking to him um, so it's actually easy for me in the long run to brush him as well. So what does a double coated breed mean? Um, it's a breed of dog that has a top coat and a undercoat. So the undercoat is the, the fluffy part. It's soft and dense, um, provides insulation and protection against harsh weather. And the top coat is the wiry type of hair that you see on Jack now and it also um, is to, to a certain extent um, repels a bit of dirt and water so if he gets dirty I can generally brush almost all of it out without having to wash him so I must say now before I get started if you have a dog with a double coat don't clip them in summer thinking you're going to make the dog cooler or more comfortable. In actual fact you'll be um, worsening the dog's ability to regulate the temperature in summer. So dogs only sweat in, in a few places, um, you know, their now nose and mouth, but they also sweat in their underpaws. So if you need to trim anything, I would trim the hair off here. Under their paw pads. I can see here I haven't trimmed his hair at all, but it is winter time here now. So with that caveat out of the way, I've worked out having Jack for over a year now that there's no one brush fits all solution. So I've got different brushes for different purposes. So I'll just get my brushes out and I'll have a quick description of what I use each for. Okay, out of all the brushes available, these are the four that I pretty much use. So this one here, I'll go over this one first. This is just a regular hairbrush for humans. I got it at the supermarket for two dollars. It's a um, bit of a general old type of brush. It it doesn't excel at any one thing, but it is good if I just want to give him a quick two minute brush before I go out. It does remove some thistles and seeds, and it does loosen up a few knots, but it's not particularly good at it, anything. But it is good if you're in a hurry. So this one here on the right. That's a uh, undercoat rake. So that's what I use to pull the fluff from his undercoat out without um, affecting his top coat too much. So especially when he's shedding, um, I use this almost daily, this one. So Jack doesn't mind it too much. Uh, could, and you can get quite a bit of knots out of this. So that's pretty much an essential brush if you've got a double coated breed or a Granondale. So now I've got this one. This is just a wire comb. As you notice, it's got narrow teeth and wider teeth. This is particularly useful for getting out knots. Um, Jack does tend to get quite a few tangles 
especially around his neck and his throat area and generally the tangle, tangles are very deep so the rake actually doesn't go deep enough to get them out uh, this, this one does so generally I start off with the bigger teeth and try and work the knot loose and then I'll use the smaller ones after the the knot has been broken up just to straighten it out a bit better and this is another brush I just couldn't live without um, it's a wire brush it, you can see it's got a quite a lot of hair stuck in it already yep so they call this a slicker brush or I just call it a wire brush but it's got lots and lots of little short wires and this is really good for getting dirt and seeds and uh, thistles and all that type of things that are stuck on his coat it's also very good for giving a, a nice groomed finishing appearance if you want to go out uh, because it does uh, finish the top of his coat off very good and especially a hair on his legs um, that is maybe three or four inches long that th this is very good for um, straightening that that out and getting all the rubbish out of off his hair so those are the brushes I use and I really I really do use all of them and I need all of them if I was going to do without a brush I could probably do without this one but these other three are really essential Oh, someone's come to see what I'm talking about. Uh, so I found I just can't get all knots out and I don't want to keep yanking on Jack's hair to try and get one knot out. So a number of times I've had to cut the knot out. So what I use in that case is a scissor you see here it's got a the tips around it so it's impossible to spike him or cut cut him with the scissors so so when I use these scissors I will very carefully pull as many loose hairs away as I can so I cut out the minimum amount of hair possible what's up You're just going to stare, are you? So what are the benefits of um, regular brushing? Well, pretty much like humans, it improves your skin health by stimulating and providing blood circulation from the brushing. Uh, reduce shedding. So c the consistent grooming helps control the shedding, keeping your house cleaner. It helps prevent um, tangles and matting, so you are going to get it, but at least you'll get lesser matting and tangling and s smaller tangles. And also, uh, it's a bonding thing. Um, I've noticed Jack generally likes being brushed by me, and and he waits in the morning for me to brush him, so it, it, it is a bonding exercise as well. I tend not to brush him, if I give him a bath and he's wet, I, I don't brush him then. I wait for him to be completely dry before I'll attempt to brush him. So, and also if I'm giving him a full brush, I'll go through all the brushes in, in this particular order. So, I'll start off with the rake and get any loose undercoat fluff out. I'll do his whole body that way and if I find any tangles I'll then use the, the steel comb to get those out. Once I've got the tangles out then I'll finish him off with the slicker brush or wire brush so this is always the last phase that I use. So this is what I'll basically do. Okay, give a little brush with this one first. 
You see this part here, his leg. This part here is the part that attracts all the seeds and all the thistles. It's mainly 90% of anything that's going to get stuck to him will be on his leg hairs. I'm not sure what the actual term for that is called. So I'll usually brush all this first. I'll do his top and then and then I'll, um, I'll roll him over. And then I'll do his stomach. So as you can see, oh, as you can see, it doesn't take long. He's fairly well maintained at the moment, so it doesn't take much effort to brush him. So let's see, let's see if we got any knots here. Ah, well, he hasn't got any knots. I can show you. With Jack, this is by far the hardest part to maintain is the neck because when he, when he plays and chases other dogs and animals he dribbles and then he gets his dribble down here and then it sort of gets all sticky and attracts the dirt but this is the hardest part to get knots and when he does get a knot it's all the way down here which is at least a few inches down so that's where this will come into play As you can see, it's it really does take a lot of effort to pull, and I you know I don't want to be yanking his hair, so I just use it to I find quick short strokes works best. So you can see he's going to sleep. He's actually enjoying this. You having fun, are you? So when everything's finished, I'll then give him the one over with this. So this is what makes him look pretty because it, yeah, this really makes his coat shine, the wire brush. So Jack is not really bothered with me brushing him anyway except his tail he can get a little sensitive to that so he doesn't like it when I yank his hands on his tail but as long as I do it quick and even with the wire brush I find short but strong movements are actually much less agitating for him than a slow strong what's that you, you want me to do your, your you want me to brush your belly? Yeah. There we go. See? As you can see, Jack is really enjoying this. He loves it when I brush his belly. Oh my, I'm not going to hurt anything to you. Well, I hope this video was useful for you. Please subscribe if you like this type of content and if there's any types of videos you want me to make please let me know and I'll, I'll try and make something on that topic. Good boy, good boy. If you roll over I'll do the other side. Okay, let's do the other side. Bye bye. Don't bite me. Okay. Here we are, now we'll do the other side. Yeah, stay still. See, Jack was playing at the dog park today and his beard or his neck or whatever the proper term for it is very dirty. So it generally needs by far the most brushing. And that's a full brush. So Jack is not shedding at the moment, so as you can see, he still does. He's Are you right? Oh, you you want to look? See, he still he still loses hair even when he's not shedding, but it's not a lot. But it's still 
better to pick this up and put it in the bin than have it be on the floor everywhere. You see all the little, all the little seeds that have come out here? All the little seeds here and there that were stuck in his hair. So this brush has pulled all of that out. There you are, and now you're good again till tomorrow. That's right. And then we can take you for a walk. Do you want to go for a walk now? Yeah, it's almost... Ah, it's almost time for his afternoon walk, so... Jack's a good alarm clock. Okay, let's go for a walk. Let's go for a walk. Come on. I'll catch you later.